Hey everybody, it's Cindy here and we've been talking a little bit about ways that we limit ourselves. Ways that we limit ourselves and I know you're doing this out there girls and some of you have been talking to me about it online which I really appreciate. Uh, there, anytime that you're saying to yourself, you know, what is limiting ourselves? Anytime you're saying to yourself, oh I can't do that or I know I wouldn't be able to do that or um, no I mean, anytime you're you're shutting the door on something you want because you're telling yourself you can't do it or you don't know how to do it or you don't have the money for it or you aren't you know, old enough for that or you're not young enough for that or you're not smart enough for that or you're not whatever enough for that, that's you putting limits on yourself. The primary place where our limitations live, where they reside, is in our minds. They reside in our minds. It's just a whole bunch of thoughts whole bunch of beliefs and thoughts going on up there that you're that are causing you to say no to yourself okay and to really buy into the fact that you're not able to do something now I realize that most of us are two armed people and with two arms we can't hold 15 babies at once or something like that or if you're blind if you're physically blind, you're not likely to go driving a car down the street. Okay, so I'm not, I know there are limits in life. I'm not going to become an Olympic figure skater now at age 51 when I've skated twice in my entire life. I get that, but that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not talking about those extremes that we all understand in life. Okay, I'm talking about the day in day out, number of times, you think a thought, ooh, I'd love to do that, I'd love to try that, oh, I wish I could do this, um, and then you say, oh, but I can't, that's not possible for me, I don't have the money, or I'm not, not, you know, I'm not tall enough, I'm not short enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not wealthy enough, I'm not good enough, and then all the things that we say, you know, or, or, or that's, I'm not lucky enough to get to do that. Um, anything, any, any way that you limit yourself. So remember, they live in your mind, and it's a set of thoughts and beliefs. And so step one in overcoming your limitations or dealing, working with your, within those beliefs is to check your beliefs and get that it is a series of thoughts playing in your head. And that's all it is. That's all it is. There aren't any other limits but the ones that you're just playing in your mind. Okay? So, and there could be a lot of deep psychological reasons for these. I get that, but I'm not going to analyze it to death today. We're going to take some practical steps in, in working with the limitations that we've created for ourselves and how to move through them and past them. Okay, so number one is check your beliefs. Really look at the beliefs. You might even write them down. Like when I think of going on vacation in Hawaii, um, here's the limits I see. I tell myself I don't have the money, I don't have the time to take off, I, I don't know how to travel, I don't know, you know what's entailed in traveling, uh, I don't look good in a swimsuit, or you know, just all the dialogue you tell yourself that keeps you from booking that trip. Okay, it's just an example I'm making up as I go along. Okay, so check your beliefs, write them down about anything you're limiting yourself, and then I want you to start visualizing you actually doing what you are saying you can't do. I want you to close your eyes and imagine yourself doing this. See yourself buying the plane ticket to Hawaii. See yourself packing your suitcase. See yourself flying across the ocean and landing on the islands. See yourself visiting places you know you would visit if you went to Hawaii. Imagine yourself, you know, walking uh, along, you know, Waikiki Beach. Imagine yourself visiting the Polynesian Cultural Center. Uh, see yourself at a luau with a, with a lei around your neck and, and enjoying the music and dance of the Hawaiian people. Uh, so visualize all of it as if it's actually happening. Like play the movie in your head as if it's actually happening, okay? So I'll explain this in a minute, but do this. So see it happening, whatever it is. If it's, you know, you're going to learn how to uh, paddleboard, see yourself on the paddleboard, going on the water, see yourself balanced, see yourself steady and strong, enjoying the outdoors, enjoying the water, and feeling safe and basking in the joy of it. 
Um, if you have a broken arm, see your broken arm healed, see it whole, see it without the cast on it anymore. Do all this in your mind. Okay, this is more mind work, right? And then I suggest you write affirmations. Affirmations are statements that start I am, and then you want to put like a feeling word and write out then what you're doing doing that you believe you cannot do. Like, I am easily delighting in paddle boarding on, you know, the Pacific Ocean. Or I, I, am, enjoy, I am delighting and enjoying, um, you know, laying on, the, on Waikiki Beach in Hawaii. I am, I am passing my, my real estate exam with confidence and joy. I am uh, paying my bills easily and finding extra money for the holiday season. So it's an I am statement where you're, compl you're doing what you think you cannot do and you're adding some feeling words into it. This is a very short explanation of affirmations, but what I want you to do is write out affirmations for every limiting, limitation you have in your life. Okay, everything you're not doing, I want you to write out an I am statement of as if you are doing it. And then every morning when you wake up, you read your affirmations. You know, I am doing this, I am doing that, I am having fun doing this, I am so happy and grateful to be doing that. And you read those every morning and then you visualize them in your mind too. Play the movie in your mind. So you read the statements out loud, you play the movie in your mind, and this is how you start to shift your limiting beliefs, the limitations you've got in your mind, and shift them into becoming uh, things that you no longer limit yourself at, okay? And then the fourth step, so we're checking our belief systems, writing them out even, and really checking them over for each limitation. Then we're writing, we're visualizing, playing the movie in our head of us doing those things we think we cannot do. Then we're writing affirmations for them, each of them, and reading those every morning and playing the movie in our head again. And then the fourth step is inspirations. Look for inspirations because what's going to happen, here's how, what affirmations and visualizations do for your brain. When you keep feeding your brain those affirmation statements, those affirmations, and you keep showing your brain and your mind what you want to be true as if it is happening now, your brain goes, oh, okay, she's a paddle boarder. Okay. Do, 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 do. And so your brain is go doesn't know the difference. It thinks it's true, just that you're thinking it in your mind. It believes that it is true, that it is reality. So it's going to help you find opportunities, resources, and ways to, to make it in the physical reality in, in the now, not just in your mind. Okay? And those are inspire inspirations. So your brain's going to tell you, hey, why don't you call up so-and-so because... They have a paddleboard you can borrow, and then they know so and so who teaches paddleboarding lessons, and then you know da 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 da. So your brain's going to help you find the way, the how of how these limitations are going to become, uh, not the limitations, but how those things you've always wanted to do are going to become reality for you, become realities for you. So you want to look for inspirations. Now, inspirations come in many forms. <clears throat> might be just an idea that pops in your head. It may be a, a billboard you see when you're driving down the highway that has a couple words that jump out at you. It may be a literal advertisement for something that has to do with your, your imposed limit. But it may be a word that just jumps out at you that means has another meaning to you that symbolically... Um, you know, represents a step you need to take or whatever to to overcome this limitation and do what you actually want to do. Um, maybe you're going to meet somebody in line at the grocery store that starts talking about exactly what you're, you know, what you're striving for. And then they'll have some, they'll have a business card of someone you should contact to get the information for something that you need to complete what you want to complete. You know, who knows, like, okay, like with the Hawaii example, maybe you're standing in line at the grocery store and the person behind you 
you hear them say something to the another person about, yeah, they just got back from Hawaii, they had a wonderful trip, and uh, blah, 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 their travel agent, this had lined it all up for them. And then you go, what? Wait, who's your travel agent that has these specials going on for trips to Hawaii? And they whip out a business card and hand it to you. I mean, these kinds of things are inspiration. These are moments where you're getting handed details or steps that can lead you to the next step, which will lead you to the next step, which will fulfill this desire in you that you've been limiting yourself from all along. But you got to feed your brain the truth of what you really want and douse out the, limita the limiting beliefs that you've housed in there. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. I hope this makes sense to you. Um, <clears throat> I think it was George Bernard Shaw, but I'm not sure. Please don't quote me on that, but I'm going to quote someone. I think it was George Bernard Shaw said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you will be right. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you will be right. So you can keep living this life of limitation if you want to, if you really, really want to, or you can check, check your beliefs and write those affirmations and do those visualizations and look for those inspirations and just start, if it scares you to dive in deep, just start small. Just go, what's one little thing I could do? Maybe one little step I could take on this thing that scares me that I believe I can't accomplish. What's one eensy beensy step I can take just to get you from feeling stuck and feeling some movement in it, some flow with it. And then piece by piece by piece, things will start to unfold and you will uh, live a life without limitations. So uh, I wish for you a wonderful, wonderful um, journey with this. Let me know how it's going. And if you think you need some accountability and support in the form of a coach, to get, I'm telling you, if you get yourself a great, great coach like me, <laughs> And we will eliminate all the limitations in your life. All of them. Every last one of them. Believe me, we will do it. So uh, let me know and schedule a breakthrough call with me. I'm having some holiday specials, actually. The coaching is going to be cheaper buying it this month than it ever will be again. So keep that in mind. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.